He was a loner, a chain smoker, quiet and precise. He came from Saskatchewan, where he had served time for burglary and for assaulting two women and a child. In January of 1983, he was a parole violator living under an alias in a Toronto rooming house. His real name was Dennis Melvin Howe. January 23rd, 1983, nine-year-old Sharon Morningstar Keenan was walking home with her mother, Lynn. She was always positive, always sunny, always bringing out the best in people, but at the same time, she wasn't naive about people. She was a wise, bright, old spirit. She is a wise, bright, old spirit. All right, but you'll be home before dark, okay? That's just about an hour. Okay. Okay, bye. I was wondering if you could help me. back before dark. This isn't like her, Brendan. Okay, I'm out the door. She probably just lost track of the time. Sharon Keenan. She is nine years old. She is four foot eight, weighs 75 pounds with dark shoulder length hair. She is wearing a brown cloth coat, a top skirt, and a white blouse. We'll see her through this. Good evening, ma'am. Hello. We're canvassing the area, door to door, wondering if you've seen this girl in the neighborhood. No, I'm sorry, I can't say I have. If you get any information, would you like to give us a call later? Sure. 
I feel this was perhaps the biggest hunt for an individual in this city and this country involving literally thousands of citizens and hundreds of police officers. Well, I, uh, I recognized her picture from the paper, and uh, she was talking, definitely talking with this older guy, uh, and he was smoking, smoking a cigarette. I, I, thought, I thought it looked kind of strange. Eventually, we decided to use investigative personnel, detectives, to go house to house in the area and have house occupants account for each person in each house, realizing there's a lot of rooming houses in that area. Sergeant Pedley, this is Constable Lowry of the Toronto Police. Have you seen this girl? Pasok, when I ask, are they coming? Pasok, yeah, Pasok. Well, have you seen anything unusual? Nah, nothing unusual, nothing strange. Except the uh, guy downstairs. I haven't, I haven't seen him in over a week. Nobody actually came out and said, you know, we found her. What they said, what, what he, you know, the officer said who was there was, uh, uh, we found a child. Well, I'm sorry, there will be no photographs today, no pictures, okay? Sorry. I think it's best if we go out the back door, then we can avoid the reporters at the front, okay? Mm -hmm. 